Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. There is one strange aspect of everything that's been going on in the last sort of few days and couple of weeks or so, and that is that people have forgotten about the Greens. Now, I don't mean they forgot about the Greens per se. Everyone's well aware of them. Indeed, they are crucial to a lot of things that may or may not happen. No, what people have forgotten is how the Greens got there. At the last election, of course, many, many people gave the Greens their second vote. That is why they ended up with so many list candidates. However, this time, having seen uh, exactly the awfulness of what the Greens are, people who gave them the second vote thinking, oh, well, that'll be good for the environment, will have realised that these are a toxic bunch of Marxist tosspots. They may not get the second vote at the next Holyrood election. It may be that they don't get too many votes at all. They'll get their first vote, of course, from all those madcap Greens who think the Greens are the best thing since sliced bread. But for other ones, you know, particularly SNP voters, this was very strange that a lot of SNP voters gave the Greens their second vote because, hey, they're, a, they're, a, a, um, they're an independence party as well. You know, we'll give them a go. A lot of those SNP voters will not give the Greens their second vote this time, meaning the Greens may be a long way down any kind of league table. Wouldn't it be weird? Wouldn't it be weird if the Greens ended up with maybe only one or two list seats and something like reform took over a lot of their seats? For example, you know, I think it's a possibility and it would be an absolute um, humiliation for the Greens, especially the leadership. It would cost Harvey and uh, Slater their jobs, I think. Um, and if you could get those two weird Marxists out, unbelievably good news for Scotland. After all, who wants uh, who, who wants weird pervs and pedos and deviants running the country? Who knows? But it is something that's sort of overlooked about how the Greens actually got there in the first place and how they very likely won't be there at the next vote. Can't wait. Thanks for listening. Take care. Goodbye.